Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh and today I've got a real special video for you because we are going on a trip. I'm taking you with us and while we're at our destination, we're going to be doing some car spotting for Toyotas and other fun Japanese vehicles. So go pack your bags because I'm taking you to Hawaii. Aloha and welcome to beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. After a wonderful eight hour flight, we have made it to the islands and to our home away from home. I'm so glad you're getting to join us on this trip. And before we get to the Toyotas, the many, many Toyotas here on the island, I want to show you the rental car that brought us and all of you from the airport to our hotel. Yes, as much as people don't believe me when I say it, I actually do really enjoy renting Tesla cars and driving them around whenever we have the chance. I just wouldn't want to own one. And if you've never actually looked into renting a Tesla from somebody like Hertz or Avis, one of the interesting things about renting a Tesla or any other EV from these rental car companies is oftentimes they'll incentivize customers to take the clean air vehicle option over a gas powered car by making it one of the cheapest options in the fleet when you go to choose your car while making your reservation. So if you're in a location with a Tesla fleet and it's going to work for the needs that you have while renting that vehicle, they are a great option. And sometimes as well, you can even get other perks like free parking in some places or wave tolls or things like that on the ground at your destination. Okay, now on to the Toyotas. So if you've ever been to the islands, you might know that about 45% of the state's population is of Asian descent. And that's a lot in part due to the days of the sugarcane plantation labor that came to Hawaii in the late 1800s to early 1900s. And while that's not the only factor in Toyota's success here, it is a big one. And Hawaii has a long and enduring love affair with Toyota that continues through to this day. In fact, when you combine the sales of Toyota, Honda, Subaru, and Lexus together, they make up a whopping 49.7% of the total market of vehicles in Hawaii. So with that, let's kick off our hopefully fun video by taking a look at the number one best selling vehicle in the islands. And if you don't know what it is, it might be a little surprising. And it's the best selling vehicle by a large margin as well. And to prove that point, I took a picture of every one of these cars that I saw in about a two to three mile stretch while walking around the beautiful Kapi'olani Park here in Waikiki. So let's go ahead and see what the best selling car in Hawaii is and how many I saw in a about two to three mile stretch.
So yeah, Tacomas are everywhere here. And it's funny to me because the Tacoma is one of those cars from Toyota, one of the very few cars from Toyota that I would actually never consider owning because I think the driving position is weird. It's really narrow, but really tall. It's got a really kind of short bed for being a pickup truck. And I just think that the 4Runner is a more usable car, at least for my needs. The Tacoma is a great truck. It's just not a car that I would ever want to own. One, but all two, those things that I mentioned make three, it the perfect vehicle for locals here four, who want to throw a cooler and five, a surfboard in the back of their Tacoma and head to the beach. Six, and so the Tacoma seven, is and probably always will be the best seven, selling vehicle here in the stretch. islands. Now, you might have also seen in all those photos of the Tacoma that there are also a ton of forerunners here. And although it's not the second best selling, it is the third best selling vehicle in the islands. And because it's such a huge hit with the locals, let's take a look at a really special, but probably little known outside of the state of Hawaii, special edition forerunner that only Hawaii got back in 2019. All right, guys, and over here we have another special Toyota. This is a 4Runner 1919 Waialua Edition. So there's a bit of history here that I may or may not cover in other parts of this video about uh, Toyota in Hawaii. It is a separate entity from Toyota North America because Toyota actually is its own franchise here in Hawaii. So it's not part of Toyota North America. It's part of Servco Pacific Toyota Hawaii. One of the things that they did for the 4Runner was when the Servco Group celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2019. They made a special edition 4Runner that only got sent to Hawaii. It's called the 1919 Wailua Edition, and that's the badge you see over here. This 4Runner came in voodoo blue, but it had the special limited wheels with the silver roof racks and kind of a TRD Pro-like face, which I always thought was a weird combination, but in any case, this is an absolutely beautiful car, and this is actually the only other Voodoo Blue 4Runner from the Tahara plant that was ever made, and that might make it one of the rarest 4Runners ever. They are quite common here because I don't believe that they were limited edition. They were specifically for that one year, but I don't believe they were in limited quantities like to 500 or anything like that. But uh, you only see these here because I don't believe any, to my knowledge, have been shipped off to the continental US. So here is a Voodoo Blue 4Runner from the factory that's not a TRD Pro. Okay, and before we get off the 4Runner, here's a fun fact for all you 4Runner lovers out there. Here in the islands, a lot of police officers are allowed to use their own personal vehicles as their cruisers so that the police department doesn't have to buy nearly as many fleet vehicles and run them and operate them and maintain them. So if you're a senior member of law enforcement, you can actually use your own personal vehicle. And because the 4Runner is so popular with the locals, what do a lot of cops choose to use? the 4Runner. And I always think it's kind of funny to see them because having owned a 4Runner for four years and, and just knowing how they drive, I don't think it would be too hard to outrun one because they are slow AF and they don't handle that well, but I'm not willing to experiment by trying to outrun one, so we're going to leave it there for now. But if you, t if you come to Hawaii and you break the rules of the road, you might just get pulled over by a little Toyota 4Runner. All right, now let's take a look at some electrified vehicles. And given that Hawaii is essentially a cluster of small islands where it's nearly impossible to even do 100 miles in a straight shot, this is one of the rare places on Earth where range anxiety just won't ever be a thing. And because many locals' commutes are usually anywhere between 5 and 15 miles each way, a lot of people here can get away with buying an EV and only charging it maybe once or twice a week. And so in this case, in this rare circumstance, circumstance, this is one of those places where you actually can buy an EV without having a place to plug it in every single night because going to a charging station once or twice a week might be doable for some people. And with the Hawaiian philosophy of living pono, which means to have respect and reverence for your surroundings and leave the aina better than you found it, 
It shouldn't come as any surprise that Hawaii loves its electrified vehicles and has one of the highest adoption rates in the United States at well over 10% of new vehicles sold being electrified vehicles. And I swear to you that this state is the whole reason that RAV4 primes are so scarce everywhere else because they're literally a dime a dozen here in the island. Driving around, I swear we saw at least three to four of them a day, if not even more than that. And Hawaii is also one of the only markets in the United States to get the hydrogen electric Toyota Mirai. All right, guys, so there is an old Mirai, last generation, and here is a new Mirai. And it's raining here, so I'm gonna make this quick, but check this out. I actually think this is one of the most beautiful cars Toyota has ever made. And this one is fully loaded to the gills. We've got the panel roof, we've got the turbine wheels, full hydrogen electric vehicle absolutely gorgeous i love the design of this car it is of course based on the ls platform as well so this one doesn't appear to have teammate but the mirai can get teammate in certain markets and what a beautiful car that is if we could buy one and if hydrogen wasn't such a finicky fuel source or power source at the moment i think this would be an amazing car love the front end of this car just beautiful yeah i love this car so much okay next up we're moving from some of the newest cars on the road to some of the oldest cars on the road and given that hawaii is midway in the pacific and there is such a huge japanese population and culture here it should come as no surprise that so many locals here have a love of jdm cars and because you can import jdm vehicles once they've hit 25 years old you actually end up seeing a lot of them on the road from old Toyota sedans to old Land Cruisers and so, so, so many K-trucks and K-vans. And one of these is really close to my heart in particular because it is the ancestor of my Lexus GX. Guys, take a look at this amazing truck over here. This is an OG Land Cruiser Prado, which makes this the great grandfather to my 2023 Lexus GX, which is of course a fourth gen Land Cruiser Prado. And oh my gosh, take a look at this absolutely amazing truck. These were around from like 1990 to 94 or 95, so they are 25 years old. And this one is a JDM import because we never got these here in the United States. And finally, Hawaii is of course a land of perpetual summer where the temperatures rarely ever drop below 60 and rarely rise above 90. As such, it is the perfect climate to keep cars looking good for a long time and combined with the short commutes and low mileage that people put on their cars here, you often see a lot of cars on the road here that would have died off a long time ago had they been on the continental United States. And so, Wrapping up this video, here are some old and older cars that we saw on the road that I just had to take a picture of and share with all of you.
you guys check out this absolutely amazing mint condition 60 series Land Cruiser in what has to be my favorite color that they ever came in, the beautiful pastel yellow. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. If someone could just hand me the keys to this Land Cruiser and a little beachfront cottage here in Hawaii and I could live the rest of my days here on the islands, I would be the happiest person on earth. And this is why, look at this beautiful truck. This is why I love Land Cruisers so, so much. So yeah, there you have it. Those are all the cool and fun Toyotas, among other cars, that we saw while in the islands. We've had an absolutely amazing trip. I'm so glad you guys got to come along in this little car spotting adventure with us. And thank you so, so much for watching. If I haven't already, there's also a quick drive uh, video coming up on the channel here from an automaker we hadn't ever driven a car from before on this channel. So really excited for that. I'm not sure exactly which order, in what order the two videos are going live that I've shot while we're here in the islands, but if this is the second, you've already seen that one. If this is the first, keep an eye out for that one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. As always, leave anything, any questions, comments, observations, anything like that down in the comments, or you can also email me here at the email on screen. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Happy 2024. I will see you all real soon and take care.